All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios. And if you like this clip, this comes from our Affinity Photo, the complete guide to compositing in Affinity Photo. And there's a special link down below for our social media family. So if you like the clip and you want to learn a little bit more about Affinity Photo and compositing, go ahead and pick up the course at a highly reduced rate for our social media family. All right, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get to the learning. All right, folks, and welcome back to our project. So in the last lesson, we got this thing kind of looking like an actual composite. So now in this lesson, we're going to make it rain. I'm going to show you in Affinity Photo how to create rain. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come up to the pixel and you're going to add in a layer and name it rain. I know, rocket science, huh? Now this next step, we're going to zoom out quite a ways. And the first thing you're going to want to do with this rain layer selected you're going to want to come to your flood fill tool, grab the black color, and fill it black. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come down to filter, noise, and you're going to add noise. Now, I'm going to use Gaussian in terms of the noise that I add, but monochromatic is essential. And I'm going to crank up the intensity quite a bit. I'm even going to bring it full to 100 and let's go ahead and apply it. Now you see as soon as I hit apply, where did it go? It's still there, but it's super small. So what we have to do, the reason that I asked you to zoom out, you're going to come up and you're going to take this layer and you're going to crank it pretty large. I'd say probably 4 to 8x would be a good way to do this. And what you're doing, you're taking all those little noise particles and now look at how big you've made them. You literally took that rasterized layer and you made these big noise particles. Now with the rain selected, go ahead and hit screen. Now that looks absolutely awful, right? That's death on a stick right there. So the next step is you come over to layer and now we're going to use a live filter layer because I want to be able to adjust this. And you're going to add a motion blur filter. Now I'm going to make it about 75%. So the rain is coming down almost straight down. And I'm going to go ahead and crank this up. Now, you can't really see what's going on here until you get pretty close up. But now, man, look at that. Now we can start adjusting some stuff. All right. You see how you can start adjusting this motion blur a little bit to get the rain just the way you like it? Heavy rain, you can adjust the 90 degrees to have it come straight down. That's awesome. Now let's say here that you want a little bit more contrast. You can always come into the adjustment layer. You can use a levels adjustment. And now make sure this levels adjustment is pulled inside of the motion blur. You see how as you increase the black, it starts to go away, right? So you want to keep this black slider up and you want to kind of balance out the black and the white a little bit until you get that look that kind of matches how heavily you want it to rain. Now, let's go ahead and zoom out just so you can see this show. You'll see what that just did to it and how subtle adjustments now in the black level will have it rain harder or subtle adjustments where you're moving the black toward will have it rain a little less. So you'll want to put it somewhere in the middle. I think it looks good right about there. And let's just check it out. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to grab the motion blur and this is why we do the live adjustment. I think that that's pretty cool and I like the 75 degrees. I'm going to have it blowing a little bit sideways. All right. Good deal. So that is how you make rain in Affinity Photo for an image. Now, I did include some water droplets. You could, if you wanted to, take this puddle and you could include those water droplets then to start splashing the puddle around. I'm not going to do that because I think it distracts from the focus, but that's one way that you could definitely do it. All right, so that's how you make your rain layer. We've got a reflections layer in there. Let's go ahead now and start pulling some of this stuff together. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come over and I'm going to be working in the macro, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to create a lens filter. All right, now the lens filter right here. Notice how it's on top of everything. If you're going for a rainy look, which is what you just sold me on, right? Would you have an orange glow? No. So you come up to the filter color and you find a glow that kind of works for you. And you can play around And this, folks, is 110% just getting the feel of the piece right. Once you've got a filter color that you like, you can then increase the strength of it there to kind of give your piece kind of a moody type of vibe. So you can always come back, grab and filter again, and you can play with some of the different colors there. I personally really like that. I think that that's something that I want to go with. And now I want to just add a little tinge of it, right? I don't want to go crazy. And then you could also take it down if this color was a little darker you could destroy the luminosity. You don't have to preserve it. I, on the other hand, am going to try to preserve the luminosity because I like the look of it. And I think that this gives me a really nice, wet, grungy, dirty type of no, real no. There's no hope in this picture. Let's put it that way, folks, right? There is zero hope. All right, so in this lesson, you learned how to add a lens filter adjustment to the entire thing to give it some cohesiveness. You learn how to make it rain there with this particular image. And so in the next lesson, we're going to start looking at lights. We're going to do some stuff in the back here, and we're going to start bringing in the details and all of the special effects. So stay tuned.